Welcome back. It's time for a second hot topic. I want to take a look at the cost of building and running a business. Uh, we've been joined by Comrade Prince Xavier Iche. He's a national president, Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria, Lagos State. Prince, you're welcome to the program. Yeah, thank you for having me. Well, I, I, I just realized recently, uh, especially courtesy of the ILO, that uh, SMEs in Nigeria contribute 48% uh, of the national GDP, and that uh, it also accounts for 84% of employment. That is a lot, isn't it? Yes. However, you do have, uh, well, you are experiencing operational challenges and struggling to stay afloat. Talk to us about these challenges and how that can be helped. Um, thank you very much. You have already said that 48% um, of the big sector um, contribute on the economy. Um, the truth of the matter is uh, Nigeria, micro entrepreneurs of Nigeria are going through a lot of issues. Um, the government have neglected this sector for a longer time. That is why we are having series of challenges, especially in the area of uh, employment. Because this is the only industry that can that has the capacity to employ you know, a uh, massive unemployed. But on daily basis, the, it, the, this sector is going down, going down on daily basis. One of the problems we have is um, the people that are, ought to be on the heads of the affair of this particular industry. They are bringing people that doesn't have experience in what is this, you know, that's in running industry. You can't just go and bring a, 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 an engineer and make him to be a minister of, uh, of uh, industry. It's because of these people don't have the knowledge, what it takes, what the micro entrepreneurs are facing. Uh, uh, going through to all, uh, what is happening in, in other countries. The, uh, the micro entrepreneurs in other countries get what I call soft loan and grants. Nigeria micro entrepreneurs, we are the one that is sourcing our own money. There's no power. We, we are the one that is in, uh, bringing our own authority power. So with all these things, you can see that the, the government have neglected. That is why Nigeria, you know, at this point, we are still on the, on, on the, the highest number of unemployed uh, 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 people in, in, in the whole world. It's not supposed to be so. Micro enterprise of Nigeria, we have the capacity to challenge the world. We have been our product in, in our country. So we the, the, the problem we are facing is is in fact we cannot be, be quantified. You know, we cannot be quantified. So on this, it is, in fact, as, an, as a leader and also as an industrialist, I go to the market every day like, all, like most of my members. We source the same money like some of my members. Before now, the number of micro entrepreneurs that have thrown in the towel is, cannot be quantified. On daily basis, micro entrepreneurs are falling up. And as they are falling up, they are falling up with their with their workers, pushing the, the, the workers to the to the existing uh, 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 labor market. Most of our our members uh, well, are in a favorable you environment. What the role of the bank of industry has been. The, How have you the, the question, interfaced with the yeah. Bank of Industry? What role are they playing in your sector? Let me tell you the truth. Yes. Micro uh, uh, um, Bank of Industry, we have approached Bank of Industry for a longer time. 
and the micro, well, bank of industry are not for people like us. I will give you instance. I went there, some of my members have went there, and we have been turned down. The condition they are giving to micro entrepreneurs are the same condition they are giving to a multinational company. Hmm. So we cannot be able to access their money. We cannot be able to access their money. It's on record. I've even challenged them. Let them come out and tell Nigerians, publish the names of the people that have given loan. Most enterprises, micro enterprises are not there. We are not there. We are not in their calendar. I'll tell you, let them publish their name. We have a project can't with that number. Their conditions are so rigid that we cannot be able to, to we cannot be able to uh, 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 meet their condition for, for them to give us loan. They are Yeah, when you People go who to... don't even have business they are doing, they are giving them the money. I have my facts and my figure. I also applied. They give me nothing. That is why I'm calling on the... I always advocate that the government should establish what I call micro entrepreneur bank. Hmm. Let it be established in all commercial banks where a micro entrepreneur can walk in to a commercial bank where would they have our data? They can be able to assess us and give us loan. For back of industry, they have disappointed micro. Uh, uh, they have disappointed micro entrepreneurs. Well, this is shocking. This you is a very prepared. shocking revelation you're giving because when you go to the website of the Bank of Industry, you find them saying that, uh, written very clearly there, that they provide business support for large, medium, small, and micro enterprises but here you are telling us firsthand your own experience and the experiences of members of your association now you are you have a strong association i believe your association uh, the association of micro entrepreneurs of nigeria is strong enough to push a case um how far have you gone in pushing a case for your people okay um let me say this on the, uh, on the national television about nine years ago, Bank of Industry come out with two two million naira loan for my members, micro entrepreneurs. I'm talking of my members now, yes. Association Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria. I also applied. At the end of the day, because of their rigid condition, I stopped. Some of my members continue. They meet all the criteria. Pay the, ten, uh, pay the ten percent of of, of of the amount. When they have done all these things, they were given offer letter for eight months. The money was not given to them. That prompted me to lead a protest against Bank of Industry. The protest started from National Stadium to Jibo Under Bridge. Hmm. When they, when they notice that I've done a, 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 a press conference, they offer me, they give me offer letter of 4.2 million. Remember, I have not complete my documentation. Mm -hmm. I refuse the money and I make sure that all my members got the money and I forfeited my own. This is on record. Google my name. Go to internet and Google my name. Google what this specific issue said about back of industry. Is there? I've challenged them. I have even called an EFCC to probe them. Did Let EFCC? Them at the mind. Did EFCC yes. respond? They did not respond. What were these stiff conditions that were given? That Probably you... the names of the people they give to the Comrade, I'm hearing you. Good. I'm you say EFCC did not respond, and yeah. you repeatedly talked about the stiff conditions given to the micro, uh, the people in your association. Uh, what are they? These stiff conditions that are not supposed to be given to your group of business people. Okay. Now, 
the Bank of Industry will ask micro entrepreneurs. Okay, we are. I don't know if it's the rain, but we're having a bit of challenge, just as we did yesterday with the network. I hope he's able to connect back and continue with this conversation because this is very, um, very germane indeed. Uh, the micro, uh, small businesses are the backbone of any functional economy and we cannot afford to have them. Hello. Yeah, I'm, I'm here with you. Yes, I was just okay. saying that small businesses are the backbone of any functional economy and we cannot afford to have you going through any kind of challenge that will stifle you or growth. So uh, talk to us about these unreasonable conditions that were given to your small enterprise group. Unreasonable condition is uh, back of industry. Let me put it to the world, to Nigerians. By back of industry, what they give, they only give machine they will ask you to go and get machine. They will even tell you where to get the machine. They don't give you money, except they started noonly. What they will ask you to do is to get machine at at least 82 percent. You get machine, you get the the raw materials, uh, 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 raw materials. The bank of industry will not give you money. And they, they will ask you, we are talking of somebody that needed two million naira to start business. They will ask you to go and get machine of like 1.6 million naira machine. We told them that we don't need machine. We need a running capital, not machine. Because at our own level, we have not grow to the effort of using machine. We use manual. Manual, you know, that uh, uh, mix up. And most times, if we ask them to give us the money for machine, let us go to local fabricators and uh, uh, some of our, our members that are into local fabricators of that machine. They will direct you to a place to go. And again, if you go to back of industry, they have their agency, they have their consultant, where they will direct you to go so that the money will come out easily. And the same consultant will charge you about 20% of the money you want to collect from back of industry. That is one of the conditions. I can say it anytime. I am ready to face any back of industry with facts and figures. They will come and tell us that they name the people that give the money. How can you ask? A, okay, for instance, in 2005, December 9, I started my own business with 20,000 naira borrowed. There are, we have some of our members who are in the same capacity. All they needed is 100,000 naira. And we have even some back of industry, even the federal government, walk through the associations. We know our capacities. Some of our members need 200,000 only to start business. Giving that 200,000 naira in the next six months, go and check the results we will get. Well, Comrade Prince Sevier uh, Iche, I, I, it really saddens me to hear all these challenges that uh, uh, micro entrepreneurs are facing in Nigeria. And I do believe you because you are the president of the association. Uh, and, and so your facts cannot be questioned. And you're saying, quote me, uh, go and check the facts, check them out. And you said you've asked yes. the EFCC to also step into the matter, but the yes. EFCC has not yes. responded yet. Yes. Um, well, I can only encourage you to keep pushing. Um, you definitely arrived somewhere. Uh, hopefully, in the near future, you'll be able to get the solutions that you need because your sector is critical to the economy of this country. Thank you so much. Perhaps some other time we'll come and find out how far you've gone in your push for, uh, for, for success 
for your association. Thank you so much for your time. This is the much we can take uh, on this uh, morning. Uh, Comrade Prince Savio Iche, National President Association of Micro Entrepreneurs of Nigeria, Lagos State, has been our guest on Hot Topic 2 this morning. We'll take a break and come back and let you know what's happening in the world of sports. Stay with us.